What is up, Aquarius? Now that we got the positivity out the way, I was saying on my live that it's that mushy, mushy, mushy feeling, ain't it? I don't know who else feels that mushy, mushy feeling like it's kind of like, like, um, should I call or should I not call or should I talk to this person or should I not talk to this person? Like you, you, it's a lot of, and it may not be you saying this. It may be somebody else saying that on this message. I'm going to include the other person. Okay. For those who do not know me, my name is spiritual star 111. Please only take what resonates in this message. Do not make a story fit if it does not fit. Okay. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box. Finding your spirits to like, comment, and subscribe at this time. Keep in mind if you are not an Aquarius and you watch me, welcome. You could have Aquarius in your chart, but Aquarius may not be your son. All right? But it's okay. Welcome. Because I know I, it's a lot of cross watchers that watch me. I get it. But at the same time, okay. Um. So let's go ahead and tap into this message real, real quick. Um, Archangel Michael asks that you use me in the highest white light as I give a clear and community understanding message to Aquarius or just whoever needs to hear it. Ask that you bring um, everybody forward a peace, love, and light. Anybody that's wishing any harm on me or my subscribers, I ask that you give it back to them tenfold, okay? Um, please and thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, the most important universe. Now, I was really eager to do this message, but I was like, let me do the other message, the 818 message. So today was 818. And let me do that message first. But I was really eager to do this because you have to know that you are worthy, Aquarius. Like, nobody can tell you different. Ten of Cups immediately popped out. I didn't even know it was in this. But Ten of Cups, period, the ancestors are already here. This is my ancestry deck. And they already done pointed out, Ten of Cups, that you are worthy. They agree on what I'm saying, okay? I don't even know how it got in there, but okay. So let's see. I don't, yeah, thorns, all right? Um, what did I put? Time for you to put your crown on. It's time to boss up. Fix your credit, girl. Get at them. Get your bread up. I'm trying to tell you, it is time to get your life back, Aquarius. Yep, Phoenix. How's that happily ever after? Um, just like the 818 message, like going, like releasing the phase, current phase in your life and, you know, becoming a grim reaper of individuals, um, you can do that with yourself too, as like just starting a new direction as well. Now, a lot of times we want the answers or we feel like something is right and it's not right. Somebody definitely feels like things could have been different. When I was on my live, I done messages. I told people to close their eyes, open their eyes of who they thought about. Then the messages came out to where somebody wants some type of, they want to conversate with you, but they just don't know how because things ended, you know, very roughly, okay? Yep. Never neglect your intuition. Whatever you feel and you feel it to be true, never neglect it, okay? Yep, and let them go. That's why the ancestors' ten of cups came out. If you have to let, if you had to let this person go, to for them to better themselves or do whatever that they need to do, then let them go. If it's meant to be, then they'll come back. If not, then just leave it where it's at. Yep, escapist, come home to yourself because you can always rewrite your story. People are always going to think of you or this person is always going to think of you some type of way or just people because there's people that um, watch me that's single and there's people that watch me that don't ain't even thinking about nobody. A lot of times you set your expectations. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see it. But a lot of times you set your expectations a little too high. And then you wonder why it don't work. And I'm glad this card came out because this came out on my live. You don't have to seek anybody's approval. Mm -mm. You don't have to seek anybody's approval at this time, Aquarius. A lot of times, I don't even feel like I be doing messages. A lot of times, I just feel like I just be chopping it up with y'all like I'm on live. And that's why when y'all see me talk, I just be like this, like for real. You don't have to seek anybody's approval at this time. If somebody did not accept you... <laughs> Rejection is God's protection, okay? Yep, Clover. Think positive thoughts at this time, Aquarius, because you are on a journey, sugar. 
A lot of y'all want to be your spiritual mentor. A lot of y'all want to have a purpose, but you're you're going back and forth, having that tire moment or whatever the case may be. But you are the gold, sugar. There's nothing that you need to be afraid of. There's nobody that you that can't tell you what you can't do. All right. Yeah, you deserve sugar, not salt. And that's the truth. Don't give second chances if you don't want to because the universe, I'm telling you, the universe sees everything. Take care of your actions. Definitely take care of your actions. A lot of people don't believe in the universe. They don't believe in, you know, the unknowing. And it's okay. But somebody is definitely, like, they feel like Things could have went different. Y'all could have worked it out differently, but it just didn't. 555, five, five, as I was saying that, but it just didn't work. And this person don't know if they ever going to, you know, if y'all can ever get to that point. And it's all right. After the storm was in reverse. It's definitely all right. Conscious connections. As long as you woke, you see what the bullshit is. As long as you woke, you see what it is for it is, okay? But as long as you turn the eye to it and turn blind to it, that's when you start to question yourself. Every journey starts with a single step. You can do it, Aquarius. You definitely can do it. And you see how I keep focusing back on you, even though I'm talking about somebody else's emotions. I keep focusing back on you because at the end of the day, I mean, we can see how this person feels all day long. But if they're not taking action, what are they really in for? You have vision here. So a lot of you are definitely stronger diving for the light, all right? With spiral manifest uh, manifestation and in the world of not the world, you have to release the dark wound. Somebody definitely may be of dark to your lightness or vice versa. You may be, you know, dark to their lightness. But at the same time, just because somebody's dark or just because you are dark or however you want to put put it, doesn't mean that it can't come, you know, all into light. That person doesn't have to stay dark. So let's see what this person wants to tell you. This person is definitely busy and distracted, and that's why they can't get their thoughts together, get their emotions together, or none of that. Definitely a low vibrational energy. And confused. This person is confused. Busy and distracted. told you mushy mushy energy regrets past life relationship you and this person definitely could have dated in the past and i mean past like 5d but for those who do not believe in the 5d and you still watch me for whatever reason i don't know then you and this person could have been drawn to each other and then you're wondering why you was drawn to each other it's because of the simple fact it was supposed to happen okay It was supposed to happen, a karmic lesson. But even though this was a karmic lesson, this wasn't a karmic partner. This union was definitely supposed to take place. Because in the past, you had soulmates that you thought it was like it was for you. But in overall, it was just hot and cold energy with the patience here. You took a risk. But 818. End of a cycle. Just because this cycle ended doesn't mean you and this person is a destined. This person sees that. This person definitely sees that. And by my phone going off, it's confirmation. 
Somebody is just acting like push and pull energy. Somebody is pushing and pulling this person's energy to where they can't talk to you how they used to talk to you. And it ain't has it don't have nothing to do about control. It's just somebody is like in this person's face. But this person still has you on the back of their mind. And this is a message from spirit. I'm telling you. And I don't know who else feels it. New love with self-love by you actually self-loving yourself. And you and this person supposed to be together. This person is learning from you. Um, that, But you just have to keep the faith. You definitely just have to keep the faith at this time, y'all. Divine masculine. So this person can come to you how they need to come to you. Good luck is her with separation. You and this person definitely could be separated at this time. But you got a secret admirer too. Ooh, ooh. You may have a secret admirer and that's why dazed and confused. You may be dazed and confused because somebody likes you. Somebody definitely may be pushing and pulling on your energy and you don't even know it. Yep, and you may find this out in the fall time or you and this person may come together in the fall time. Fear and anxiety is here too. Somebody is definitely scared of what you do to them. Counseling and therapy. Definitely could be having therapy sessions with other people. Who knows? But at the same time, meaningful coincidences, it's all going to come back to you, Aquarius. You just have to ask yourself, are you ready, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine? This could be happening next year in March. Slow and steady with inner healing. Definitely healing with family concerns is here. With family concerns is here. But at the same time, just keep in mind that Spirit knows exactly what he's doing. The universe definitely knows exactly what they're doing um, when they separate you from somebody. So it's not to hurt you. I tell y'all all the time, it's definitely not to hurt you. It's just to, this mushy, mushy energy is all over the place. And a lot of y'all may feel it and a lot of y'all may not. Like, I don't like doing messages when it's mushy, mushy because a lot of emotions is really running high. Like, a lot of people are really... um contemplating if they want to talk to you contemplating if they want to see you just contemplate and contemplate and contemplate and like it's a lot to be crying at this time this person could be waking up crying or crying in their sleep or whatever the case may be but at the same time this person is i feel so happy with you or when they was with you they felt so happy Somebody may be in a committed relationship that you don't know about, but they're saying they won't let you down. Or maybe this is past energy. This person is saying that they don't know what you want. But, like I stated, they feel so drawn to you. Somebody definitely feels so drawn to you. This person don't want to know they're trying to recover, and they saved your text messages, messages, but they want to know, like, what is it about you? Why do I feel drawn to you? What is it about you? This person hid their feelings from you. I don't know why I just had a premonition, and I still have feelings for you. My clock say 11.38, but I just had a premonition that it was already 12 o'clock. Something definitely may be happening for you, or you may wake up to a message um, in the morning. Somebody may text you. If you got somebody blocked, then this is not for you. Um, but at the same time, something may be significantly happening um, either in December or something may be significantly happening in 12 days or something just may be significantly happening um, with the, the time, okay? This person is definitely not over you. Don't let them fool you. But they contemplate in their mind that they can't do this. Because you let this person down. They keep blaming you. It's like they're playing, but they will do it again. But it's like they they playing victim to you, Aquarius, because of the simple fact. It's that mushy, mushy. They don't know how to tell you, you know, even though we had our differences, I see why you did what you did and all that good stuff. It, that's what I'm saying. It's all, the energy is all over the place. I can be myself with you. I have trouble with intimacy came out and I put it back. I need security and I want to make amends. 
but this person may not have trouble with sex they just may have trouble expressing their emotions okay because when you're intimate it's like you're vulnerable so this person may have trouble um with you know vulnerability i miss being with you i want you so badly so this person is definitely craving you and i watch your social media so this person definitely watches you if you have a social media all right one more spirit thank you and i am not financially stable so this person definitely may feel like you know i don't have enough for you at this time or you may have more than me you know it just it is what it is i don't know aquarius we want to see what the angels say i just been on angels because I, I talk to the angels like they talk to me all day long and i just really just been just getting guidance from the angels and y'all probably have too but this mushy mushy energy i don't i don't like this energy at all um if you're feeling it then you're feeling it if you're not then you're not but this feeling is just like uh what do you want to say angels and then i'm gonna close it for resolution and ask your angels ask your angels what you should do and however your angels talk to you whether it's um through the numbers or you know if you can see your angels i don't know your spirit guides just talk to your spirit guides and ask your spirit guides what exactly you should do okay at this time all right yeah because i told you somebody wants you romance three more one more thank you and reconsider and this could be reconsider what compromise came out on my live too this could be reconsider about this person or just reconsider and just leave it alone yep wait forgiveness and within the next months within the next few months so it just it is what it is aquarius this is the this is the energy right now, and I, I apologize if you you really don't want to hear this. You like I'm over such and such, but at the same time, somebody is not over you, and you know, even though they may be mad about right now, they're not over you. So don't listen to what they're saying or none of that. They're not over you. All right, continue some peace, love, and light. Staying healthy, staying blessed, staying safe at this time. All right. Definitely staying focused and just having some type of clear clear mind on everything. Because, she's this is like you just want to take a eraser and just go like this. Because that's how the energy right now is. It's just that mushiness. Like, like get a fan and just. But I love each and every one of y'all. And until we meet again, what is life coming to the next, y'all? Namaste. Have a good day. And I will talk to y'all later. All right.